Hello everyone, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update giving you all the latest ins and outs with Manchester City news so remember like always want to stay up to date with everything happening with Manchester City transfer news make sure you subscribe, press the red button and press the bell and put your push notifications on if you want to go and follow my social media links you can find them in description below and popping up on screen like always remember to leave your thoughts in the comments below and leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video so we're going to crack on with this video, short video this weekend very slow for transfer Transfer news has been like this every single weekend throughout the transfer window. Seems transfers don't do weekends, but there we go. So just a small update. It was small yesterday, small again today. We've got an update on Thiago Almeida, though. Update on him. Apparently both Sporting Lisbon and Manchester City are going to be paying his release clause, which uh, I find strange. Maybe it's going to lead to a permanent transfer to Thiago Almeida at some point going to Sporting Lisbon. I do not know, but that's according to Sports Witness. Definitely going to be a two-year loan, this, though. And apparently Velez Sarsfield, they're trying to put Thiago Almeida under the pressure to try and sign a new deal because Velez wants to put up his release clause so they can get more money. Bit of an ugly transfer this one when you think about it, putting a young player under pressure to sign a new deal so you can get more money. Uh, yeah, hopefully it'll get concluded at some point next week and so we can all just move on and he can get the transfer that it, he seems to want but Velez want him to go but obviously for more money so yeah that's what the big hold up is from that one. Bit of a strange transfer that but there we go. We're going to move on to the outs now we're going to be speaking about Eloquin Mangala now but Sictus apparently is still chasing Mangala, but they want him on loan for the season. Now, Manchester City want a permanent transfer. They're willing to give him a free transfer, and by that, I don't mean releasing him. I mean Besiktas having to pay no fee for him. So, no fee, just got to get an agreement there and put him on a permanent transfer. But Besiktas apparently... Uh, only want him on a loan, so they want some compromise. I presume they want in Manchester City to pay some wage, which to me makes things extremely difficult and it makes things extremely awkward as to why we put Mangala on that one year contract extension. Apparently, though, with Besiktas, any deal will be pending a thorough medical that they want doing. Of course, they stopped Mangala earlier in the transfer window from leaving for Portugal when he travelled over to Portugal out of his own pocket to get through the medical, obviously deemed not good enough. And so Besiktas wanted to do the same with concerns over his fitness. One ad uh, addition I do have to this Mangala deal, though, it does mean that if Mangala does leave, potentially... Uh, gives a spot for a player to come into Manchester City and we do know City have been chasing in the market a centre-back. Harry Maguire seems a little bit too expensive. We have spoken before about Ake. Perhaps may Man City might be going into the market again if Mangler does leave and leave quickly this window to try and look for a centre-back. We will have to wait and see upon that one. That's just uh, me just having a little bit of an assumption. So there we go. Got an update on uh, another Manchester City player, young player called Eric Palmer Brown. Now, FK Austria Vienna, Austria Wien. Uh, they're trying to loan the USA International and Manchester City man. Their president says that they've got a good chance of loaning him in this transfer window. To be honest, uh, it does make sense, that move. So, potentially, I can see that one happening. I am expecting a fair few young players to be leaving from now until the end of this transfer window coming up. I'm expecting some to be academy players. I'm expecting some of the usual players that normally head out on loan to be leaving too. And speaking of one of them players that has headed out on loan and getting linked with another loan move is Lucas Namicha. Now, Birmingham apparently chasing him. Wigan 2, according to uh, Alan Nixon on Twitter. Apparently, though, Lucas Namicha wants a loan move to uh, Germany possibly a permanent transfer too. Earlier in the window, Borussia Mönchengladbach were chasing him permanently. Turns out they couldn't afford him. Then apparently they were chasing him on loan and then since then, for about a month, month and a half, not really heard anything. Now Birmingham and Wigan sprung up to try and chase him. Now, of course, he spent last season out on loan in the Championship with Preston North End. During that season, he declared that he was going to play for Germany under 21. He's got in mind that he wants to represent Germany at international level. Hampers Manchester City's plans because he didn't declare for England and been able to get a little bit more money obviously young English players that are doing well always come with a bigger fee uh, and more demand because he declared for Germany it makes it a little bit more awkward so he obviously wants to go to his native Germany instead and see how he performs over there instead so Manchester City um, maybe have to find a compromise with Lucas Namicha to me I'd push hard to try and get him to Germany nothing materializes by right towards the end of the window then I'd probably think about loading him to the championship considering he's already spent a season in the championship I feel like a move to the Bundesliga would be a brilliant low move and it'd be interesting to see how he did over there of course scored in yesterday's friendly in Japan for Manchester City so Lucas Namitri will have to wait and see there's a possibility City might use him as a third choice striker I highly doubt that will be the case but there we go uh, so there we go that has been the video I said it was going to be short it was short, like I said, weekends are very slow, so just stay tuned, might be more developing stories coming over the next day or so, of course, we're heading into the last 
full week of the transfer window next week. I expect a fixture to warm up with the outgoings, potentially some incomings if outgoings does go well in the next week. We'll have to wait and see, of course. No real update on Leroy Sane just yet either. I suspect that will probably warm up this week. So if you want to stay up to date with the latest happening with Manchester City transfer news, make sure you subscribe, press the red button and press the bell and put your push notifications on. That will keep you in the loop and be notified immediately when I've uploaded because you want to stay up to date. Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below. You can go check out my social media links, which you can find in the description below, popping up on screen for my Twitter and Instagram. If you so wish to go and follow me on there, then please do. Any number gains on there would be much appreciated. Any number gains on here would be much appreciated too. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you, everyone, for the continued support. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all again tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer updates. I'll see you then. So it's been JSGC. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace. Ciao for now.